You want to reward your viewers with sound effects, free merch or game keys? You can do that with the Stream Elements Loyalty Store. I personally use it to give my loyal viewers Steam keys. Free, yeah, free games. I mean, I buy them, but they get them for free. This is how mine looks like. So basically I have this game keys all in here and people can just save up points and then they click on redeem item and they immediately get the Steam code. But you can also set this up for sound effects or literally anything else than Steam codes. You want a free game yourself? Go watch me on twitch.tv slash tree. Link is down below in the description. And make sure that you don't forget to stream smarter and not harder. All right, so how do we set up this store? with either Steam keys or other perks, or maybe just sound effects. We're gonna go to streamelements.com and we're gonna log in. If you've already logged in, you just click on your icon and go to dashboard. Then here to the left, you're gonna go to loyalty and stream store. You can see all items in here and we can also change them or disable them, but we're gonna go to create new item. Here we can choose a Steam perk, can be literally anything, a sound effect, which will go off on your stream, or an access code list, these are Steam codes. So what this does is the access code list, list on codes, and then it will pick one from one row at the time and send them to the person that redeemed it. So Steam perk can be tree does a dab. Well, I don't really have more of a description, so I'm just gonna paste that here, but we can have a bit of a longer description if you want. I'm not that creative with text. Then here we can say, how many points does it cost to redeem this item? Let's just keep it on 100. If you have the item quality on minus one, this means that they can be redeemed forever. People can redeem this tab forever. If you want, you can set a max amount of dabs. <laughs> now you can only do 100 dabs and then this reward will be gone. Nobody can redeem them anymore. But what you can also do is keep this on infinity and make sure that there is a global cooldown. So for example, 600 seconds, 10 minutes. And the user can only use it every 20 minutes. Then we can also make them in a category. If you put them in a category, the user cooldown will apply on everything on this category instead of just on this one item. So you could say tree does is the category and then tree does a dab, but also tree does dance or I don't know, you can have multiple things in there. And then we can have a cooldown on this of a period of one hour, for example, instead. Okay, next, here we can set some assets. So this is the preview asset. That's the asset we see here. So this is, if you submit that, we can also, we can upload a new one here or we can just submit this. This is the thing they're gonna see if they click on it. Here is a stream alert asset. This is the thing they will see on your stream. So for example, this one for the kids, this is my charity alert. Let's just submit that. And we can upload a sound, which we can upload here again. You can drag and drop things in. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select one of these. I'm just gonna submit this one, which is also show my charity one. And here we can regulate the volume. Let's just not make it that loud. <laughs> and here we can say when the alerts go off. We want this to have an alert on stream. So we're just gonna keep this on. Allow the user to add a text message to the alert. Then it will be the alert and underneath it, there will be some text. Redeemable via website, redeemable via this basically. Redeemable via chat. That will be with a chat command. That will be right here. We're gonna set that in a second. Send confirmation while redeeming via chat. Basically, it will just say this person has redeemed this in chat. And we can also make it just for subscribers. Now here, redeem and then command. So it's a good idea to give this item name, something that people easily can type in chat. So for this, because we're gonna do a dab, that would be great. So redeem space dab will redeem this alert, even though you didn't went to this website to redeem it. And then we can add more requirements like have email address, a phone number, home address. For example, if they can redeem your free merch, you can add that in here. Or if you're gonna send a postcard or something like that, or email, you can send that in here. We can add a requirement here. We can ask them for something and they will have to need to fill it in before you're redeeming. Okay, we're gonna save it. Then it will be at the bottom. Oop, it'll be right here. It could be that the image isn't loading yet. It will later. Now we can see that it's here and you can see that this image actually loaded in. And there's also a play button and you will actually hear the alert if you click on it. <laughs> we can redeem the item. Let's go make it one of these instead, where you can redeem a Steam key. 
But before I'm going to do that, I want to tell you something. Because I'm super picky with my sponsors. I don't want to take on sponsorships that I don't think fit 100% with my audience, you streamers. But because of this, I don't earn that much money. People always ask me, are you doing this full time? I am. And then they ask me, are you earning enough money from that? And I'm like, not really. That's okay. I love what I'm doing and that's why I'm doing it. But if you're like, well, Shree, I appreciate the effort. You can become a member of the channel. For only $2.99, you get a badge in front of your name and you can use emos in my comment section. So basically you can let everybody know that you support Truy. So let's make this a Steam key instead. I'm just gonna edit the item. It goes the same way, we just have to edit, right? We're just gonna go for all access code lists. What we do now is we keep the item quality on minus one. It's not unlimited this way with the access code list, okay? Keep that in mind. We're gonna go to next. We keep these for just convenience sake. And here we have list of all access codes. We'll just make something that looks like a Steam code really quick. It might be a Steam code, it might not be. I just randomly typed some things in. So this is a code now. And if you place it on the next row, and we're gonna make another code. People are gonna think this is a Steam code. You can, you can try, but I don't think it are gonna work. And then we have two Steam codes here. And what is gonna happen, it's gonna give the first person this code and it's gonna give the second person this code. What we can do is we can say, once keys have been given out, do not give them out again because they're Steam codes, they're unique. You don't want two people to get the same code. However, if it's, for example, a discount code or your merch store, what you can do is like merch 10% tree. For example, if that was a code to get 10% discount on your merch. I definitely don't have a merch shop connected to my YouTube account. What we can say is because this code will work for everybody, we can say we, they can basically give out the same code, code multiple times because they just need this code and it doesn't need to be a unique code. But if it's a unique code, turn that on. If you want the codes to be distributed randomly, click on this one. However, what we want is we want them to start here and go downwards because then we know which codes are used. And again, subscriber only and stuff like that. And we got this thing again. But now if somebody redeems it, it says three out of three because we have put three codes in. If somebody redeems it, it will say two out of three, one out of three and zero out of three and it will say sold out. So it won't be infinitive, but it will look at how many codes you have put in to actually know how many items there are left. But there's one more thing we can do and that's the sound effects. Sound effects basically works the same as perks. We just have to fill in a name, description, item costs, item quality again, global cooldown, user cooldown, category name, we've got the same We've got an alert with sound, stuff like that. You can also leave this empty and then it will just be the sound and not the visuals. And this is all the same as the perk one. So it's basically just the same as the perk one. However, if you want these alerts to come on stream, right? You have, you've set these alerts, but it doesn't know where to send them yet, right? It doesn't have anything in your OBS or in your Streamlabs desktop to send it to. So what you want to do is go to streaming tools here and then overlays. You can either go to one of your existing ones or you can make a new overlay, make it 1080p. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on add widget here, alerts, store redemptions. Alerts for redemptions from of a store item. This is where we can set an image and a sound alert for the redeem things. Here we can change the message if you want, keep the name and the item in because those are codes and they change to the item name that you've given the item and the name of the user that redeems it. You can leave them out, but then it will be just a general alert, I guess. For the rest, they work the same as normal alerts. You can set the position of the sound and the image right here. You can also click them away if you want. Now there's no sound and now no image, just text. And you can set the styles here, but that basically works the same as stream elements alerts, which I explained in this video. So if you have some trouble with setting up alerts in stream elements, definitely check that one out. When we have done that, we copy this link and we're gonna go paste them as a browser source in your OBS. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to the plus, browser source, store redemptions. We're gonna remove this link, remove this link, make it 10, 1920 by 1080. And make sure that you post the link in here. Control audio via OBS, turn that on as well, and then click on OK. And then it is actually inside your OBS. It's not right now because I didn't post the link in there because I don't want to share the link with you. If you have any more questions about how to set this up, I do have a Discord server. Link is down below in the description where you can ask me any streaming related questions. Make sure to grab the streamer role so you have access to the streamer support section. If you enjoy Stream Elements videos, there is more right here. It's a whole playlist. I've also have more videos about Twitch tips, so help you grow. 
that's right here. You can stay up to date right here by subscribing to my channel. You can help me grow my gameplay channel right here. I'll see you right there, right?